Be a woman. Do what the hell you want. Like no, Lonnie. Business. That's the point. Dude, choose a girl that doesn't have a lot of money. No, that is yeah, your no. choice. That's exactly. not. The, that's not the solution here. That's not the solution Why? here. Oh, you want to save the world? Go no. Ahead. Well, I mean, realistically, <laughs> the, I rather. Captain Rico. <laughs> it's not about saving the world. It's about the cape. it's about giving bad advice. And when you give bad advice, people do dumb things and ha end up in a bad situation and lost situation. And realistically, you need that experience. No, you don't. No, mm. you don't. You know, if you go and you say, "Hey, go do whatever you want. Go sleep with whoever you want." You're not doing nothing that's conducive to society. And in fact, you're actually one of the people that's crippling society and making it worse than what it is right now. The reason why the dating pool is so terrible is because advice like that from men and women are being shelled out and then everybody's running with it. I don't, hold on, real quick, real quick. Before, Lonnie, here's the thing. I don't even disagree with Rico. Yeah. That's the thing. I agree with you. Like, Here's the reality. You're going to make decisions. You have to know there's going to be consequences to that decision. You got to take ownership for your role in whatever you do. I don't disagree. So here's the thing. If you do sleep with 100, 200, 300 men, and then you're like, oh, boom, like I want now to be a housewife or whatever, whatever. Okay, there are consequences to some of the decisions you've made. Mm -hmm. That's not the problem. My issue is how you execute what you're trying to say. Like when you go and you're like, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to tell you. But at the same time, I got to shame you. I got to call you anyway. all types of whores. Mm -hmm. I got to like, dude, you do not have That's to That's part do of that owning it. Behavior. That's like, okay. That's not owning if it. If somebody said, hey, look, I don't want to date any felons. Okay. <laughs> if, if a woman says or a man says, whomever, I don't want to date any felons. Is felon a not, is felon a derogatory word? Yes, it has a bad stigma, and and guess what? At the end of the day, it's a it's a consequence of a title you've received for your actions. So if you are a whore, whether you're a man or a woman, you're a whore, and you gotta wear it. And you can be like, "Yo, listen, I was a whore. I'm trying to change. I reformed. I'm I'm not reformed. I'm in a work in progress. I'm a whore in progress. <laughs> it's okay, but like." If you if you embrace it, that's part of the accountability. When you start trying to be like, yo, don't shame me for what I did, it was like, yo, but that's what you were doing. Like that's your title that you got for what you were doing. You can't run from it. I mean, I understand the word felon, you know, because that's <laughs> that, you know well, you but understand the word no, <laughs> Nobody is like, I'm a whore. Put that stamp on I'm like, what? But nobody's like, I'm a felon. I I committed one crime in my life and I committed it at 22 and I'm 40, but I'm still titled a felon. It, it, at the end of the day, it's something that you have to wear. Like, people got to understand you have a jacket, right? And your jacket has patches. Your patches come from your actions. So if you were doing something and you got that patch, that comes that title for that patch on your jacket, you got to wear it. Because at the end of the day, when it comes out, and eventually it will, next thing you know, you got a partner that you was building with who no longer trusts you because you couldn't be honest about who you were and what you were doing in your previous life, no matter if it was five years ago or 20 years ago. But the conversation wasn't even about calling people a whore or you slept with so many people and now you're not. The conversation was like, why do women not admit to the correct amount of people they've slept with? That was the conversation. And the, 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 what we were saying is that because we have so many people, if somebody comes to me and they said, I slept with 200 people <laughs> and I'm not interested, I'll just say, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in being in a relationship with you. Why? You could tell them it's because I feel like you're a whore, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to go around, you know what I'm saying, and call every... I, to me, that's how I feel. That's my personal preference. But your personal preference, and this is what we're trying to get here, preference and perspectives is the reality. So you're not the only one that feels that way, Lonnie. Guess what? Just don't be mad. I would say when eighty. People don't tell you the right amount of people they. But but that with. the thing is, people don't tell you because they're scared and they don't want to admit what they did to themselves. But what why? Well, of, this of is sleeping with Rico. Yeah. Why would? No, they no, be not worried? scared. They're scared of the title and the judgment that comes with Are it. Are you scared of, scared of ever being called like a male whore or anything like that? No. You know why? So then why do you care if a woman doesn't give a fuck if she, if somebody cares if they call her a whore? No, no, no. I want them to be like, I don't care that you call me a whore. That's what I want. I don't want to be called a whore. But I if you, but if you were, care but even about still, the nobody's title. nagging you about what? How? What do you have? How many you have? How many you have? So you why just you asked me like, yeah, twenty minutes ago. Answer. I told you I didn't know. What does that tell <laughs> you? you? Whore. You don't know. <laughs> that tells <laughs> you what whore. Does it tell you whore. If I tell you I don't know my body count, what does that tell you? Whore. <laughs> Man or woman? All I, I don't think care. that Rico yeah. is saying and Lonnie is saying, 
Rico is saying that he doesn't want to be lied no. to. And Lonnie is, is saying that delivery. you're being lied to because you're going to judge. Yeah. Right. But we, we're not going to go too deep in I this. just want to know, why do you care? If nobody cared about the word, then you would be honest. And that's what the real thing is. Just don't care about what people think of you. If you want to do something, like I said, embrace that shit. Even date somebody that's a regional manager at McDonald's. Right. So that's different. <laughs> what are you saying? Good. If she got boy, eighty bucks. Try, she's a pe- no she's way. a people's Those person. But no, different people care she's about a people's different person. things. <laughs> different people care about different things. If you care about the money, then yeah. well, not even the money, the yeah. title, mm-hmm. because McDonald's workers do make a lot. So you guys say. I think there's 89, a lot 000. of capping because As, if you tell me if you come home with a check mm-hmm. in one week, that's Seven thousand dollars, and this is what you're bringing home, and you work at McDonald's flipping fries. Do you think that I'm gonna care? I wouldn't. A lot of people, okay, you care about the perception, but you still gonna come home. I'm not gonna tell my friends my husband flipped fries. Right. But guess what? I'm gonna tell my friends my working. My husband works at McDonald's in the corporate office in the back, and you know, far away. Okay. Well, who cares? Who gives a damn but fuck? I think that a lot of us would go ahead and, yeah. and get with the person. I don't think that we would really care. Yeah. But you Please. do because you're lying. Just, the, we're so just, what? So what? If you I did, let, him, let him lie. Well, we're just saying this. I'm <laughs> well, not, let's just say you guys will date, but you will care. I will date you, but I'll care, and I'm just going to lie about it to my friends. Period. Who cares? That's, and you're and there's going to have there's gonna be honest. a little insecurity t- behind that relationship. Thank you. Right. And some disrespect. And some disrespect because okay. you going yep. well. He well he does make a lot of money. Well, why would there be disrespect? I, I wouldn't care. Yeah, because you know. can't even tell people. Listen, if if somebody can look at oh, you, if your girl's still a stripper more money and she's then. making a lot of money and taking care of households. You know how many? That's like you know. And this are you going to tell people she's a stripper? Well, this is first of all, I would never date a stripper. <laughs> Let's get that clear. I thought you did before. No, I've never did, and I've never oh, said okay. I did. did. But I just tried to. But oh, a prostitute. I That's even better. Is I didn't true? date her. Did you tell her that? I, did you tell people she was a prostitute? Guys, I didn't date her. Look at the face, y'all. Look at the face. Did I didn't so date you her. Didn't, oh. I loved her. You wanted different. to marry her. <laughs> so I didn't wait, date wait, her. Rico, I loved her. We, we, need to make, we need to get this really clear. Yeah. We need to get it on camera in the conversation. So you dated a stripper. No, before. I never dated a stripper or a prostitute, but I did love a prostitute for six months. <laughs> so you were you, so you were not in a relationship with this prostitute? No, she was out the country. There's no way I could really be in a relationship with her. I mean, I did see her almost every month, but niggas be in a relationship. You can be out the country. You can be in another planet and have a relationship with somebody. So did you ever? Okay, but did you I didn't ever? Hear what she said. I actually mean neither. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> did you tell anybody about this relationship with a prostitute, or did you disclose that she was a prostitute? Yeah, what? Alan was the first one I talked to. I came back at the table. Doesn't count. No, Alan this told me. Boys Alan club, told me not to do exactly. it, and I said, "Yo, she's different." <laughs> By the way, if you ever hear a guy say, "Yo, here's here's game one on one," if you ever hear a guy say, "Yo, she's different," that means he knows he's making a conscious mistake, but he's willing to do it. All of them. You're trying to like, convince yourself, actually. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like, that's but really, you just got that different side of her, but she still is what she is. I mean, at the end of the day, different side of her. She, okay. Like you got another side, you know. The other side we'll that isn't time. trying to fuck <laughs> we'll for money. Won't we'll give me this time. Been there, done that. All right. And I am sober, so you can't, can't get me this time, motherfucker. <laughs> He's like, yeah, go ahead, make yourself look crazy. No, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, most girls are prostituting anyways. They just don't want to accept it. So, like, you know what? If you fucking for a bag, you're a prostitute. I don't care if it's a bag, an apartment. You still really fucking for in a transaction. So realistically, you just a higher price one. Me never prostitutes. Give him the mic. Me never prostitutes. <laughs> Me I never wanna, prostitutes. I just want to, Jada. I want to put something in context, right? I'm not sensitive. It's no, a no, joke. no, 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 no. I want to put something in context. Golly, if, if, man. if, if your man comes home and he got a job at Starbucks making seventy six thousand, which is what the salary is in New York, mm-hmm. I just want to put this in context. He came home, and let's say you. And I'm not making it sexist because let's say the woman makes less, you make fifty. Mm-hmm. He comes home and be like, "Baby, I got the job. It's seventy-six thousand. You're making fifty. We could buy our first home. Mm-hmm. Baby, I got the job. We could get that car that you wanted. Right. Baby, I got the job. We could start something." That's why I said I'm with it. But if the day I fucking find out, you had a fucking party, 
and you don't tell motherfuckers that I'm a manager at Starbucks? The only person that cares is you. No, he probably don't want anybody to know either. <laughs> no, but you also you also can't destroy a man's ego though. So like being around your friends, especially like having him around, how are you gonna how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna lie and sprinkle your little sugar? On the on the man's title. Talk about it when we get home. <laughs> my, my, my bitch is we'll lying about, about my job. Right home. in front of my face. I'm looking at her like, oh, do that. Talk about it when we get home, <laughs> honey. Right? I'll be rubbing his knee at the de- dinner table. <laughs> let's not <laughs> break. I would, break I would be in front of my friends like, let's not talk about work today. You work at Wall my Street. Man works, <laughs> my man works really hard. You work so hard. Let's not talk Yo. about work. Like, well, what's that? Isn't that new Wagyu sushi? What's <laughs> <laughs> You tried the sauce. That's so terrible. <laughs> I know y'all definitely lying on Thanksgiving about your man's job then. <laughs> like, I don't even, I don't know. But yeah, what, what does he do? Don't worry oh, about do people it. people really ask that question? I always hate it when people ask what? what somebody do. First of all, I don't, I don't have Thanksgiving with like distant kind of family. Mm-hmm. The family I have Thanksgiving with, we like all together all the time. There's no mm-hmm. questions like that. Right. They already know. Yeah, they know everything. They know he work at Starbucks. Yeah, yeah. I have a question. Sure. So if you if you go to the bank mm-hmm. and you know the banker that's taking your loan application makes thirty thousand dollars a year, and your husband works at Starbucks, you have to put his. Imp- Is there something to be embarrassed about? No. There's no shame attached to it. We gotta be honest. The light went out. See, so did his. The light went out. <laughs> so did his light. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I didn't think she meant literally. Oh. So wait, so I'm like when I'm talking to the per, the loan the bank loan oh, that person. person okay. It, it, yeah, they don't count. It's in the that person don't. It's in it's in the thing. Wait. It's in the setting, move, right? <laughs> it's in the setting. Like me and Rico hanging out, be like, "Yo, Jada's coming out. Rico, girl, come out. Mm-hmm. Yumi's coming out. We all and hey, y'all man, and then you coming out with the mm-hmm. Starbucks manager. Right. And then we all and everybody's like, we're like, yo, what do you do? I'm I'm, I'm a manager at Starbucks. Like, yo, that's cool. Yo, damn, that's cool. Like guys yeah. think it's like nothing. It's not a problem. So then why we what the I th- guys like, think it's nothing? Start telling me about coffees and different types Wait, of Wait, no, no, coffees. no. Guys think it's nothing. It will, you if you're a man and you my people, your dude works at Starbucks. Who gives mm, a shit? Alan, wait, That's hold what on. I'm saying. I'm waiting. It depends. <laughs> it depends. See, Alan's talking from a perspective that he's oh, in. Well, Alan, you got to understand, Alan's not going to be in a place where there's going to be a Starbucks worker who's not doing his thing, right? So so if he's like, yo, okay, cool, yo, you work at Starbucks, that's, you must be doing something big to be standing next to me. So, <laughs> but but if What's Alan was in Barcode, shout out to Barcode. <laughs> if I'm talking about Starbucks, yeah, but okay. if you're at a... Network but that's event. how people feel when they're in relationships. You have to be of a certain level to be sitting next to me, obviously, or you have to be of a certain something. You're saying that as a person socially. You're socialized. You're, the people around you socially have to be at a certain level. So for you to sit there and say that it's a problem for me to date somebody that's not we didn't socially say- like accepted, that's cap. Well, we didn't say it's a problem. It is. It is. <laughs> but, it's no, I mean, like, no, I'm not saying it's a problem for you to date And that's why I'm going to lie if it's not going to make any sense. But don't lie. I'm going to lie. <laughs> I am going to lie. I don't know where he work at. <laughs> that's the worst. Yo, when I hear people say that, I'd be like, oh, she got a lame. Okay. Because you, like, you want to be, pro- like, you want to boast about your partner. Like, I want to be like, yo, my okay, girl does this. what if your man this. does something illegal or something and you just can't talk about it? Or what if you, like, it ain't everybody's business. Actually, I Don't heard Don't do that. that That's the, the problem. The girls Because when I say I'm an entrepreneur. They call, they call their boyfriends truck drivers. Mm. I've, I've heard that. Oh, you know? When they say that their boyfriends are truck drivers, really means scammer. Oh, I didn't know. That's the cover-up drug. Or no, the new cover-up is investor. She likes truck drivers.